guess who's back again? Adam Newman from WeWork. Are you kidding me? This guy, ultimate failure, still way richer than the rest of us, but whoa, he's back with another company, and guess what they're doing? You guessed it, real estate. Even though WeWork was not a real estate company, it owned a ton of real estate, and it failed. This guy, are you kidding me? He's back. Andreessen Horowitz backs WeWork founder Adam Newman's latest real estate project. In case you're wondering, we were not. If the bubble has finally burst enough to remove detritus, the hell's detritus? Like Adam Newman from the investing atmosphere, the answer appears to be a resounding no. Newman, famous for taking hundreds of millions in compensation, <laughs> we saw the documentary on Hulu, and a botched IPO overseeing more than $10 billion in WeWork valuation disappear, vanish, vaporize into thin air, is now once again being enabled, invested in, why did they cross that word out? By Andreessen Hard Audits. And guess what? His latest venture just so happens to be in residential real estate. Oh, stock down from an all-time high of 1497, crashed to 4.5, and now we're just hovering under $6 per share of the company called Flow. Comes in the wake of WeWork's IPO attempt nearly marking the market top prior to COVID. Andreessen Hardowitz stood up for Newman in a blog post this week calling his efforts at WeWork often underappreciated. And I'm sure those people that all got fired and were forced to live in some sort of weird cultish commune together and not talk about it also think he was underappreciated. They actually might think, uh-oh, he was overappreciated. And this and Andre Andreessen says... Seeing repeat founders build on past successes by growing from lessons learned. I think that could actually be morphed into the phrase, a fuck-up who stole a bunch of money and screwed people over is now trying it again. The details on the company are few and far between. Other than it is supposed to launch in 2023, the New York Times, such a trustworthy organization they are, Describe the company as an effectively service, effectively a service that landlords can team up with for their properties, somewhat similar to the way of an owner of a hotel might contract with a branded hotel chain to operate the property. So they can all team up together and not get paid when the government says you don't have to pay your mortgage again. Andreessen Howdowd, its co-founder and general partner, Mark Andreessen, wrote on a blog post this week, they have the same last name. So wait, Andreessen Howowitz? Co-founder, oh, so Andreessen Horowitz is not a man; it's a place, unless he's got the same first name as Mark ha Andreessen, last name. In a blog post this week, in a world where limited access to home ownership continues to be a driving force behind inequality and anxiety, giving renters a sense of security, community, and genuine ownership has a transformative power for our society. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Prices are through the roof. People are trying to sell their homes and can't. And, like, isn't BlackRock buying up, like, 80,000 single-family homes and selling them or some shit? He continued, We think it is a natural, we think it is natural that for his first venture since we work, so his, after his giant fail, we think it's natural that Adam returns to the theme of connecting people in a, in a cult and kind of, like, putting them in some weird jail where they work through transforming their physical spaces and building communities where people spend the most time their homes. Remember the little clip in that segment that where everyone said like their businesses? <laughs> it was the funniest fucking bullshit businesses you've ever heard of with a bunch of kids, parents money most likely, failing them. Internet beer tasting, I think was one of them. We're thrilled by the scope and aspiration of this project. And Reason said, it is not lacking in vision or ambition. No, we know Adam Newman has no lack of ambition. Uh, or visions. But only projects with such lofty goals have a chance at changing the world. Okay. Okay, sure, that sounds nice. So did the idea of shared office space. We can't wait to see the financial reality of this project, not to mention in 2023, when ra rates will have been their highest in nearly a decade. And then that lovely meme, it's like we work except for apartments, just got like 350 million. Oh, and for all of the reasons listed above, 
of how great the CEO is and blah, 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 blah. I assume that if this company, Flow, goes public, yeah, buy it and then get the fuck rid of it. Try it so hard. Uh,